In a world that constantly urges us to push harder, to give it our all, there lies a paradox that many of us fail to recognize. The legendary samurai, Miyamoto Musashi, once walked a similar path of relentless striving. Yet, through the art of the sword, he discovered a truth that defies common wisdom. It is the philosophy that sometimes, the harder you try, the worse it gets. A counterintuitive notion that challenges everything we've been taught about effort and determination. In today's world, we are often led to believe that the path to success is paved with relentless effort, that we must push ourselves to our limits in order to achieve our goals. But what if this belief is not only misguided, but actually counterproductive? What if, as Musashi suggests, there is a way to achieve greatness that doesn't involve straining ourselves to the breaking point? What can we learn from this ancient samurai that could transform the way we approach challenges in our own lives? Miyamoto Musashi, born in 1584 in Harima Province, Japan, is one of the most renowned swordsmen in history. His journey was one marked by continuous battles, both external and internal. From a young age, Musashi was drawn to the way of the sword, dedicating his life to mastering the art of combat. His philosophy, however, extended far beyond the battlefield. Musashi was not only a warrior, but a philosopher, an artist, and a writer. His seminal work, the Book of Five Rings is not only a treatise on strategy and martial arts, but a reflection on life itself. Musashi's life was a living embodiment of his philosophy. He believed in the principle of doing by not doing, a concept that informed not only his approach to combat, but his approach to life as a whole. Through a lifetime of observation, practice, and reflection, Musashi developed a philosophy that challenged the conventional wisdom of his time and continues to challenge our own beliefs today. Musashi's philosophy, as detailed in The Book of Five Rings, revolves around the concept of the way, which he referred to as the way of the warrior, the way of the sword, or simply the way. It is a philosophy that applies not only to martial arts, but to life itself. For Musashi, the way is about mastering oneself, one's thoughts, emotions, and actions. He emphasizes the importance of discipline, focus, and continuous self-improvement. Musashi divides his philosophy into five elements, each represented by a ring. Earth, water, fire, wind, and void. These elements symbolize different aspects of existence and understanding them is key to mastering the way. Earth represents the physical world and our place in it. Water symbolizes adaptability and the importance of flowing with the currents of life. Fire represents combat and conflict, both internal and external. Wind symbolizes tradition and the past, while the void represents the unknown, the future, and the infinite possibilities it holds. Musashi believed that by understanding and mastering these elements, one could achieve a state of harmony with the universe, and ultimately, victory over oneself. An essential aspect of Musashi's philosophy is the counterintuitive nature of effort. In a world that often preaches the harder you try, the better the results, Musashi offers a different perspective. He warns against the perils of over-trying, which he believed led to unnecessary stress and inefficiency. Overexerting oneself, whether in combat, work, or daily life, often results in wasted energy and diminished returns. It can lead to a cluttered mind, impaired decision-making, and ultimately, failure. Musashi emphasized the importance of relaxed readiness, a state of calm and focused awareness that allows one to respond effectively to any situation without unnecessary tension or wasted effort. This perspective aligns with the broader principles of Zen Buddhism and the martial arts tradition, which value efficiency of movement, mental clarity, and a calm, centered mind. It is a reminder that sometimes less is indeed more, and that the most effective way to approach challenges is with a balanced, measured effort. In the Book of Five Rings, Musashi wrote about the concept of doing nothing unnecessary. This idea encapsulates his philosophy on effort. Every action, every decision, every thought should serve a purpose. Anything superfluous is not only a waste of energy, but can also be a distraction that hinders one's progress. For Musashi, the right effort is about being present, mindful, and fully engaged in the task at hand, whether that is a sword fight, a work project, or a personal goal. It is about being disciplined, staying focused, and not getting sidetracked by irrelevant concerns. 
It is about finding the most efficient and effective way to achieve one's objectives without unnecessary strain or struggle. In this way, Musashi's teachings offer a timeless and valuable perspective on how to approach challenges and achieve success in any area of life. One of the most profound and enigmatic concepts in Musashi's philosophy is Mu, often translated as nothingness or emptiness. This idea is a cornerstone of Zen Buddhism and a recurrent theme in Musashi's writings. In Western thought, nothingness often carries a negative connotation associated with absence, lack or void. However, in the context of Musashi's philosophy and Eastern thought more broadly, Mu represents a state of openness, potential, and receptivity. It is not about negation but about clearing away clutter both mentally and physically to make room for what is essential. Embracing Mu means letting go of preconceived notions, unnecessary desires, and superficial distractions. It means approaching situations with a clear, unburdened mind free from bias and attachment. This state of mind allows one to see things as they truly are and to respond appropriately without being hindered by extraneous thoughts or emotions. In the context of effort, Mu suggests that trying too hard, holding on too tightly, or being overly attached to a particular outcome can be counterproductive. Instead, one should adopt a more relaxed, flexible, and adaptable approach. This does not mean being passive or indifferent, but rather being fully present and engaged while maintaining a sense of detachment and equanimity. Ultimately, embracing Mu means finding a balance between effort and ease, between determination and letting go. Non-attachment is a fundamental principle in Zen Buddhism and is intricately woven into Musashi's philosophy as well. It is often misunderstood as detachment or indifference, but in reality, it is about being fully present and engaged without being controlled by our desires, fears, or expectations. In the realm of effort, non-attachment means not being overly fixated on the results of our actions. It means giving our best in every moment without being consumed by the desire for success or the fear of failure. This mindset frees us from the anxiety and stress that often accompany our efforts and allows us to act with a clear and focused mind. Imagine yourself as a leaf floating down a river, gracefully carried by the current. There is no struggle, no resistance, only seamless movement in harmony with the water. This is what Musashi would call the essence of flow. It's a state where actions are performed effortlessly, where the mind is focused yet relaxed fully immersed in the present moment. Flow is not unique to combat or swordsmanship. It is a universally attainable state that can be applied to virtually any activity. Whether you're an artist lost in the act of creation or an athlete so immersed in the game that you lose all sense of time, you are experiencing flow. And according to Musashi, this is where true mastery lies. In a state of flow, our actions are not forced or overthought. They arise naturally, almost effortlessly. This aligns perfectly with Musashi's philosophy, which advocates for the right kind of effort, a middle path between trying too hard and not trying enough. When you are in flow, you are exerting the right effort because your actions are both spontaneous and precise, uninhibited yet controlled. What is fascinating is that flow eliminates the self-imposed barriers that often hinder our performance. When we are in this state, we are free from self-doubt, anxiety, and the constant chatter of our minds. We act without second guessing, without the debilitating fear of failure. It's as if we are in a dance with the universe, moving in perfect sync with the rhythm of life. But how do we enter this state of flow? Musashi suggests that it comes from mastery of the self, from disciplining our minds and bodies so thoroughly that they act as one. It comes from understanding the rhythm of the world around us and harmonizing our actions with it, and perhaps most crucially, it comes from letting go, from releasing our tight grip on our expectations and fears, to be free to act as the situation demands. Overthinking or analysis paralysis, as it is commonly known, is a trap that many of us fall into. It is the act of thinking too much about a situation to the point that no action is taken. This not only hinders our performance, but can also lead to inaction, a state that Musashi would argue is the antithesis of right effort. Musashi believed that the mind should be clear and uncluttered, 
free from unnecessary thoughts that could cloud judgment or delay action. He understood that in the heat of battle, there is no time for doubt or hesitation. One must act decisively and with purpose. He believed that by emptying the mind of unnecessary thoughts, one could achieve a state of mu or nothingness, where actions are performed effortlessly and without conscious thought. This is the essence of right effort and the key to unlocking our true potential. By understanding and adopting the principles of Zen Buddhism and Musashi's teachings, we can learn to avoid the trap of overthinking and instead act with purpose and precision. We can move through the world with a clear mind and a focused intent, unburdened by the weight of unnecessary thoughts. When it comes to the philosophy of effort, Musashi isn't the only thinker who has weighed in on the topic. Many Western philosophies, such as Stoicism and Existentialism, also have unique takes on effort and action. For instance, Stoicism advises us to focus our efforts only on what is within our control, which aligns well with Musashi's idea of the right effort. Existentialists like Jean-Paul Sartre would argue for the freedom and necessity of making choices, a sentiment that resonates with Musashi's emphasis on decisiveness and action. However, Eastern philosophies like Taoism have a more direct parallel with Musashi's teachings. Now, how relevant is all this in our fast-paced modern world? Exceptionally relevant, it turns out. We live in an age of hustle culture, where we're constantly told to grind and strive for success. But the downside is often burnout, stress, and diminishing returns on our well-being. This is where Musashi's philosophy comes in. It serves as a reminder that trying too hard can be counterproductive. Sometimes, what's required is not more effort, but more wisdom, knowing when to act and when to refrain, when to push and when to let go. By understanding and applying Musashi's insights, we can navigate the complexities of modern life with a greater sense of balance and poise. His teachings don't just belong to the past. They're a guide to living a more thoughtful and effective life today.